Whenever we encounter exponential, there's one thing in mind that comes to me. That is the word alarming. Exponential is indeed very fast and increasing or very fast and decreasing. So today, let's talk about the different applications of these exponential functions. So here, consider that there is a bacteria, a culture of bacteria that triples itself every hour. So initially, there are 600 bacteria. So before we understand that, imagine if there is just uh, two bacteria in a group. And after an hour, you expect that two times three, you will have six bacteria already. And that six will again triple on the next hour. So six times three will give you 18. So what if the bacteria is 600 initially? So let us try to illustrate how does this 600 bacteria increase. Initially, there are 600 bacteria, okay? That is when time is just zero. So the number of, or the culture of bacteria, a time that is equal to zero is 600. Now on the first hour, it is understood that the bacteria will triple itself. So first hour, we have 600 times three. You expect, therefore, that in the culture, there are 1,800 bacteria on that culture. Okay? Now, on the second hour, this 1,800 will again triple itself, or the number. So, you have 1,800 times 3. And on the second hour, that 1,800 bacteria in the culture will again triple in number. So, you have 1,800 times 3 will give you 5,400 number of bacteria, bacteria staying already in the culture. So what if time keeps on increasing and that, that is already, let's say for example, n number of hours. What would you expect to the number of bacteria staying in the culture? So that will now illustrate exponential function. So let us first model the equation, model the function, in the increase of the number of bacteria. So the number of bacteria or the amount of the bacteria after t hours is now represented by b of t. So let's say for example here, how do we know that or how do we illustrate? To model the function or the increase of the amount of bacteria, you will appreciate here the rule of functions. Let us illustrate or the amount of bacteria in the culture by B of T, okay? Now, if you observe this one, when time is zero, there are initially 600. Now, when time is one, one hour already, it triples itself based on the illustration. Now, this 1,800 is a product of 600 times three. And this 1,800 is 600 times three. So you can see a particular pattern 6,000 times 3 is the first hour times 3 again on the second hour another 3 on the third hour that will continuously happen so you see meaning to say there is an exponential pattern that is happening that on the first hour you multiply by 3 now you have the second hour so 3 times 3 which is big it becomes 3 squared. On the third hour, it becomes 3 raised to 3. So what about if you have in the nth hour, then you can say, well, you can now say that that is 3 raised to t. So this 3 raised to t is an illustration of the word triples itself. But the initial number is 600. So that would mean d of t is now equal to 600 times the quantity 3 raised to t. That is now the illustration or the model function illustrating the behavior of the bacteria when it is increasing. So let us try to verify really if this is the model function, exponential function. If we say time is 0, b of 0 must be 600, not base here. So b of 0 is equal to 600 times 3, where t is 0 here, okay? When t is 0, 3 raised to 0, and that will be 600 times 1. You got 600. 
on the second or let's say on the first hour already it triples itself already so you have 600 times 3 so let t be equal to 1 so you have evaluate it so we have 600 times 3 is equal to 1800 amount of bacteria on the second hour we now have 600 then you have 3 raised to 2 here is equal to 5400 so using this model function what if the question is what is the number of bacteria or amount of bacteria present already after 10 hours so we can now have b of t time in hour is equal to 600 times 3 raised to t let t here be equal to 10 so you have b of 10 is equal to 600 times 3 raised to 10 and that will now be equal to so that will be equal to 35 million 429,400 number of bacteria amount of bacteria present already right after 10 hours when we talk about increase we have the formula amount is equal to the initial amount times 1 plus the rate of increase raised to uh, any time t so in function we can say that is a of t is equal to t times 1 plus r the quantity raised to t so if we say that the bacteria doubles itself then it means to say the, the rate of increase there is 100 so when we talk about a bacteria, okay, a culture of bacteria that triples itself, okay, then we say the rate of increase there is 200%. When the term is triple, it means 200% rate of increase. When we say double, we have 100% rate of increase. That is why if we substitute it to the formula here in our first example, we have the first example, B of T is equal to 600 times 3 raised to time T. This 3 here comes from 1 plus R here. And this R is equal to 2 because 200% is equal to 2 and 100% is equal to 1. Okay, this is a general formula. Now, we can also talk about uh, a particular decay or decrease. So, we have amount after time t is equal to t times 1 minus r raised to t. So, we never encounter subtraction. That means decay or decrease. And plus means increase or growth. So, in here, on our second example, a certain radioactive substance decays half half of itself every day so initially there are 10 grams this kind of problem is true especially to health related okay especially in laboratory experiments there are what we call radioactive substances so these are actually decreasing in number okay now the term half here will talk about 50 percent in rate so 50 percent is equal to 0 0.5 in decimal Form, okay now if there are 10 grams initial number of that substance then 10 divided by 2 on the first day decreasing the expect 5 so if we have this time in days and the number or amount of uh, radioactive substance on the first day you expect 10 divided by 2 you expect 5 grams already left on the second day, this 5 grams will again divided by 2, so you expect 2.5, okay? On the third day, that 2.5 left will again be divided into 2, and that is equal to, and since 2.5 is actually equal to 5 over 2, so when you divide 5 over 2 by 2, you have 5 over 4, and that is equal to one point. 25. You see, it is increasing every day. So what if you have number of days? Meaning to say, there will be a chance that the bacteria will no longer be present. 
or that substance will no longer be present. Okay? And so what will be the amount of substance after 5 days? Amount will now be equal to, let's use this formula now, okay? Initial number of uh, substance or amount of substance times 1 minus R raised to T. Since we already talked about uh, it, it decreases half of itself, okay? So we have initial number of bacteria, amount of bacteria is 10 grams, and half of itself would mean 50%. So you write it in decimal form, 0 0.5, and T is 5, so we have 5 days. Okay, this 5 days, that is for T. Now, what will be the amount left after 5 days? You just need to simplify this. It will start from the exponent group before multiplying to 10. So the amount of substance left after 5 days is 0 0.3125 gram. Okay? So what about if uh, we would like to know amount of substance after 8 days? And that will now be A is equal to 10, the initial amount, times 1 minus 0 0.5 raised to 8. So A is now equal to 8 is now approximated. It is now approximately 0 0.04 gram. So it keeps on decreasing and decreasing up to time that A or amount is already zero. Population growth is also possible as a way of uh, involving exponential functions. Okay? The increase of population is illustrated exponentially. Now consider that the population of a town increases by 2% every year. Okay? That 2% is the rate of increase. At present, so let's say at, at this moment, or let's say 2020, there are 20,150 people living in the town. So let us try to determine the number of people living in the town after, after 4 years and after 10 years. So here, we can say population at present, let's say that it's 2020. Population 2020 at 2020 is equal to 20,150 and that is the initial population considering this year okay and the rate there is two percent and that two percent is equal to 0 0.02 so we are using this as uh, the rate okay now the number of population or the number of people staying in the town after four years will now be population after four years Okay, is now equal to the at present number of people 20,150 times 1 plus the rate of increase and that is 2% which is 0 0.02 raised to 4 times is equal to 4. We raise it to 4. Okay, and the population after four years remember also always know that we are to first solve the exponent we follow them class okay so the population is so the number of people staying in the town after four years will be 21,811 you see how fast is the increase so it was um, this four years is the year we're referring after four years will now be on year 2024 and this number will be possible okay remember that that is just a prediction of the population after four years so what about if we have after 10 years so we have p of 10 which is equal to 20,150 times 1 plus 0 0.02 raised to 10 and the population is Okay. 
and the population is 24,563 already uh, living in that area or town after 10 years. And when is that 10 years? On year 2030, you expect this number of people as a prediction. Okay? Now, that is very alarming as well. If we cannot control number of people staying or we cannot control birth as well, then there will be a time that you are starving. So we need to be very cautious. When we talk about money, sometimes we borrow money or by loaning or sometimes we deposit money to the bank. Okay? Now depositing or borrowing money would mean the integration. So if we borrow or we deposit our money, then there is a particular interest. Our money will increase or should I say the amount of payment will increase if you borrow your uh, that particular amount. Okay. Now here, exponential function also illustrates the increase of money. Roby deposits 10,000 pesos in a bank that pays 3% interest that compounded annually. What does this uh, compounded uh, compound interest mean? If you have 3,000 pesos and increase it, let's say for example, half will half of 3,000 pesos is 1,500 pesos. So you will have 4,500 pesos, the new amount after a year, for example. So in the next year, that 4,500 pesos will be the amount that will increase. So meaning to say, every year there is a change of principal amount or initial amount. That is what we call compound interest. It illustrates uh, what we call exponential um, function. This is the formula, the amount. This is the amount, the total amount after, after any time in years. So the total amount A is equal to the principal amount. This one is the initial, the initial amount. So let's say if you borrow 5,000 pesos, then that is the initial amount. Or if you deposited uh, 10,000 pesos, that is the initial amount. That's the first time you are depositing, for example. This R here is the rate. This is time. And this N here would mean the, the frequency of compounding. Is that semi-annually, monthly, annually, quarterly? Now let us apply the formula. Here we would like to know the amount of money that Roby can be able to receive after five years. Amount is equal to P times one plus R over N raised to M times T. Here M is just one because annually would mean one. It means in a year it just compound once. Okay? Rate is 3% convert that into decimal 0 0.03 okay the principal amount or the initial amount deposited is 10,000 pesos okay and there you go we are now looking for the amount here so amount total amount after 5 years or A sub 5 for example is now equal to the principal amount 10,000 pesos times 1 plus the rate is 0 0.03 and m is just 1 because that is annually times m that is 1 okay raise it to 1 times time time is 5 okay so you have 5 so meaning to say rho b can receive an amount and that is equal to so the money of Roby after 5 years is 11,592 pesos and 74 centavos. Now, we also talk about interest. When we say interest, this is the amount of increase. How much is the increase okay, of the money? Remember, since Roby deposited money, the money is used by the bank. So, the, so Roby should gain you know, a certain amount. And that certain amount is what we call interest. And to get the interest, you just need to subtract the initial amount deposited by Roby and that is 10,000 pesos here, P, and subtract that to the new amount after 5 years which is 11,592 pesos and 74 centavos. Money of Roby or the interest or the gain received by Roby after 5 years is 1,592 pesos and 
74. So after 11 years, Roby will earn 13,482 pesos and 34 centavos. Okay? Now, this amount will be received by Roby. But the amount he deposited will have an interest. That is the gain received by Roby. The interest will be 3,482 pesos and 34 centavos. You just need to subtract 10,000, remove 10,000 from the total amount after 11 years. You will have this. That is the interest, okay? So, for example, Roby deposited 10,000 pesos at present. So, let's say this is 2020. So, when will he receive this kind of amount? Or this amount? Will, that will happen on... 2031. So it takes 11 years to have this. And after 5 years, this will be on 2025. So another 5 years. One thing that you would uh, expect here is when the rate is increased, you expect that the money will also increase. So from 3%, let's say the, the bank offers 10%, then you should be happy as well as the one depositing money. But when you're the one borrowing money or having a loan, the increase of rate would mean something that the burden will also increase because you need to pay increased number or increased amount of interest. At this time that we're facing a pandemic, the exponential function will also tell us something that we need to understand the increase of virus, the increase of the number of cases. This is linear versus exponential. We are glad that the increase of, well, we, I say we are glad or I say we are blessed because the increase of cases is still linear. But the virus increases exponentially. So everyone, you keep on um, being cautious, you keep on integrating social distancing whenever, whatever we do physical distancing as well because well we cannot control the virus we can only keep away of this virus stay safe